Cole Scott here for Netbook News and today I am reporting for Tweak Town. Now how did that happen? Well, Cam and I actually hang out at some of the same bars in Taipei. So since Intel sponsored me to come down here and, and uh, cover GDC for Netbook News, I looked at the conference and I said, you know, tablets and netbooks are a very small part of what goes on here at GDC. So I thought, hey, why not do something for you guys at Tweak Town? So if you have anything that you want me to go and grab, let me know. My Twitter is uh, at Nicole underscore Scooter. I'll put it here maybe. Um, or you can always uh, send Cam an email and he'll let me know. So contact Tweak Town and they'll let me, uh, they'll have me running around the show floor trying to find stuff for you guys. So I've been down to the show floor and while it's not built, uh, there's boxes and crates everywhere. It's uh, kind of in disarray. The lighting is terrible. I hope they, uh, that improves by the time the show opens tomorrow. So. Keep an eye out for me, Nicole. I'll be doing some videos for you guys at TweakDown and I hope you enjoy them. So, this is Nicole, here at GDC. So I'm Richard Huddy. Um, I'm the uh, Worldwide Developer Relations Manager for AMD, um, which really means that I get to play games all day, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> we're introducing a, a couple of uh, things here at uh, GDC. We're talking about uh, bullet physics as part of the Open Physics Initiative. Um, now, bullet physics is a, um, a CPU or GPU physics library. So it handles things like ragdoll physics, um, solid body, rigid body physics, and indeed deformable surfaces in the, uh, the best cases. It's a beautiful piece of code because it's open source. Um, so although it's been promoted primarily by Sony to date, um, it's a, um, a physics library which allows a game to do a much better job showing physics in, in a gaming environment where things tumble, they fall, they roll, they move around in a, in a physically realistic kind of way. Now this is um, GPU accelerated for any games developer who wants it that way. They can get it running on OpenCL or on direct compute. Lovely piece of stuff, all open source. So we've done the, the job of porting it onto the GPU um, and uh, anyone can now take that and use it and improve the quality of their game. So that's one thing we're talking about, the Open Physics Initiative. The other thing that we're uh, also talking about is uh, open 3D stereo. So we've, uh, we've taken the, the current market, we've taken a look at that and figured that one of the things we really need to do is to create a proper ecosystem which isn't dependent on one or two players forcing a particular technology because that's not really the way that competition is going to drive down prices and, and therefore drive adoption. So we have a, a 3D stereo um, driver which is available now. We're working with middleware vendors, companies like Bit Cauldron and uh, IZ3D um, to produce a, a stereo image which can be done from active or passive or, or even anaglyph uh, glasses so that you can take a, a Blu-ray movie or a 3D game, render it in stereo and get a fantastic 3D immersive environment. It's no wonder I love my job, is it?